Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. We are on Magisterium, video number 15. The Dead Sea Scrolls Under Siege The latest attempt to deflect attention from the DSS is to cast doubt on their provenance and make them appear to be forgeries in the mind of the public. The DSS is the greatest archaeological find in human history. The word of Yahuwah is inf infinitely more valuable than any treasure such as gold and silver stored in the tombs of dead pharaohs, Greek pharaohs. Matthew 23:24. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat but swallow a camel. Those behind the cover-up of the name of Yahuwah have reached a point of desperation. The papal bull in 2008 only brought more attention to the Tetragrammaton not less. From 1947 to the present, the Jesuit scroll team has worked tirelessly to divert attention away from the DSS. The real reason the scrolls were there in the first place was because the name of Yahuwah is written in the artifacts and that is, that is the camel the Jesuits never wanted the world to know about. There are no Nats Nakud marks on any of the artifacts in the 11 original caves at Qumran. The scrolls are the real thing and not forgeries. And I can leave the link in the description box. If Christians began to live like Yahushua lived, they would cease to be Christians. They would be obedient to Yahushua's commandments and abandon their former way of life following traditions. They would not go to steeples in the morning on the first day of each week, and they would know Leviticus 26.1 prohibits building them. Easter, the modern term for the Norse de fertility deity of the dawn, Eostre, the Egyptian Isis, the Roman Eunice, the Greek Aphrodite, and the Hindu Gari, and Ishkar, Babel's mother of harlots, Easter popped into the Anglican Catholic KJV at Acts 12.4 in 1611, but is not in any other translations before or since. And there's another link right there I can post in the description. Um, okay. When did Lent start happening to us? Lent, an observance adopted by Catholic Christianity from a former practice from Babel involving ashes and fasting. The women weeping for Tammuz are mentioned at Ezekiel 8.14. This video will connect the dots for you to, to decide whether it is pleasing to our creator Yahuwah or not. Watch the YouTube video, and I'll put that link in the description box. Box, sorry. Ash Wednesday to Ishtar Sunday is their span of 40 days and billions are unfamiliar with how it became mixed into the practices they observe. Did Yahuwah tell us it's okay to adopt pagan customs if we practice them with new intentions and even divert them towards serving him? Let's search the writing of truth and we will see. These are the laws and directives which you guard to do in the land which Yahuwah Elohim of your fathers is giving you to possess. The Yomim that you live on the soil. Completely destroy all the places where the Gaim, which you are dispossessing, serve their mighty ones on the high mountains and on the hills and under every green tree. And you shall break down their altars and smash their pillars and burn their asherim or trees with fire. And you shall cut down the carved images of their mighty ones and shall destroy their name out of that, out of that place. Do not, do not do so to Yahuwah your Elohim, but seek the place which Yahuwah your Elohim chooses out of all your tribes to put his name there for his Mishkan, and there you shall enter. Deuteronomy 12, 1-5. In this, a second place, we read this. Guard and obey all these words which I command you that it might be well with you and your children after you forever, when you do what is good and right in the eyes of Yahuwah your Elohim. When Yahuwah your Elohim does cut off from before you the Gaim, which you go to dispossess, and you dispossess them and dwell in their land, guard yourselves, that you are not ensnared to follow them. 
after they are, are destroyed from before you, and that you do not inquire about their mighty ones, saying, How did these Gaians serve their mighty ones? It doesn't matter. We're supposed to serve Yahuwah. How did... Okay. And let, and let me do so too. No. Do not do so to, to Yahuwah, your Allahim. For every abomination which Yahuwah hates, they have done to their mighty ones. For they even burn their sons and daughters in the fire to their mighty ones. All the words I am commanding you, guard to do it. Do not add to it, nor take away from it. Now, I'm sorry I had to make such a short video today, but... Um, I do have a lot of work to do. I love you all so much, and I am going to sing a praise song. This is my favorite part. I love praising Yahuwah. It is my absolute favorite. Um, I've written many, many songs for him. Living Temple of Yahuwah. Yahuwah Yireh. Yahuwah Sabuah. Yahuwah Rafa. I am Yahuwah. Those who wait for me will never be ashamed. Do you not know? That you are the dwelling place of Allah. That the Ruach of Yahuwah dwells within you. We are called to be set apart. Like the temple of Shalom, or the tent of meeting. Our bodies are the temple of the living Yahuwah. The Ruach HaKodesh dwells within us. Yahuwah Yireh, Yahuwah Zavuah, Yahuwah Rafa, Yahuwah Shalom. I am Yahuwah, those who wait for me will never be ashamed. Do not defile the temple with the temptations of this world. Do not let the enemy deceive you. Follow Yahuwah's voice. Hallelujah. And that was... I'm sorry... I want to make sure I have the title for you guys. I apologize. Oh, Living Temple of Yahuwah. And I wrote this um, on July 29th. Um, I love you all with an everlasting love. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and truth.